Welcome back, boys and girls, to another edition of Violent But True Bedtime Stories. Now, I got a story about an ass-kicking American for all you ass-kicking Americans out there. Would you like to hear a story about an ass-kicking American? Uh, I do. So, let's learn about Jumpin' Joe Byerly. Joe Byerly was a big, tough ass-kicker with a full ride to Notre Dame to play football in the bag. The attack on Pearl Harbor changed his mind for him, and he enlisted in the Army as a parachute infantryman. He was doing some hardcore deep cover missions that had him landing in parts of France to kick ass and find his way back out by hitching a ride back to England. Joe's second mission was the night before D-Day. He jumped in the dead of night through tracer fire, sniper fire, and flak explosions in every direction. He hit the ground as a one-man wrecking crew sent to soften up the Germans before the big fight. He blew up a whole substation, took out a whole squad of Germans by tossing grenades at them and then started to make his way to destroy a bridge when he accidentally crawled right into an enemy machine gun nest. His melee was done for the time being. Byerly was moved to many different POW camps after numerous escape attempts and countless Allied bombings. His captors found plenty of time to torture him between the bombings. His life was getting tortured by day and living through strafing runs at night. He escaped one night with three Americans. They hopped onto a train in hopes of making it to Poland so they could link up with the Red Army it was the wrong train, and they ended up in the center of Berlin where the Gestapo found them and tortured them mercilessly before sending them back to another POW camp. It was... <laughs> How the f*** you get on the wrong train? <laughs> Alright, at this camp, Byerly recruited three more friends to make a mad dash for freedom with him. They ran and all three were shot, leaving him running through the woods alone. He dove into a frozen river to throw off the dogs and somehow made it to the Soviet lines. He used his very shaky Russian language skills to convince them to let him join up. He was handed a machine gun and joined the mission to liberate the very camp he just escaped from. Joseph Barely got to kick Nazi ass in two different uniforms. He returned home and got married at St. Joseph's Church in Muskegon in 1946. The same church that held his funeral in 1944. Jumpin' Joe, you're a one-ass-kicking American, and we salute you. Thank you.